compare the three ratios. Picture this. You want to buy a new shirt. All right. And in this case, you want to buy six new shirts. And you want to try to figure out where can I get the best deal. This type of problem will allow you to figure that out. At store A, you know that you could buy two t-shirts and spend $17. Okay, so if you want to buy two t-shirts, it's going to cost you 17 bucks. Now, store B, you could buy one shirt and it's going to cost you 7 bucks. Store C, you could buy three t-shirts and pay 20 bucks. Now, Lily wants to buy six t-shirts. At which store will it be the cheapest? Here's the only problem with this. We don't know how much it costs per t-shirt. But what we can do is compare some ratios. All right. So for store A, we have two t-shirts for $17. Store B, I have one t-shirt for $7. And store C, I have three t-shirts for $20. Now, notice for this example, I wrote shirts, t-shirts first. That's because we're going to change these ratios we're going to find equivalent ratios that all have the same number of t-shirts. What do we want that number to be? Six. Okay, so let's change the first ratio. In order to get a ratio of six to something, I have to multiply this ratio by three. Two times three gives me six. Seventeen times three gives me fifty-one. Okay, the second ratio I have one to seven. If I want to get my t-shirts to be six, I have to multiply by six. 7 times 6 is going to give me 42. Same thing with the third ratio. I have t-shirts of 6 by multiplying the 3 by 2. So I'll multiply the 20 by 2 and get 40. So now I have all of these stores under the same terms. Each gives us a price for 6 shirts. Store A is $51 for 6 shirts. Store B is $42 for 6 shirts. And store C is $40 for 6 shirts. Where's the best deal? The best deal is that's going to be where it's the cheapest. And the cheapest in this case is store C, where it will only cost you $40 to buy six shirts.